One of these days I'll figure out how to wear a hat or not wear a hat or something like that. Probably not. YouTube! Look, that should give everybody camera focusing seizures when I did that. Hi, I'm Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. This is a mystery box. Well, mystery envelope, mystery whatever. It is from Digger Jim. I can't remember his full Instagram name, but I will leave it in the link down below. I think it's got some numbers on it. I think it's 71, but I, remembering numbers is hard. So, um... What I do know is he's an Instagrammer, great guy, and he also collects uh, and, and, and does metal detecting. So he uh, does both things. And each this box was $55 shipped, I believe, uh, and it comes with a coin somewhere in here. I think they all do. Uh, yeah. There's a John Wick coin was the grand prize and a silver Godzilla coin. That one's already been taken uh, because, you know, that's how it... <laughs> my luck rolls. But the thing is, my dad's also a metal detector, and he never finds anything. <laughs> I mean, he, it's, he he likes it, and he goes out, and he, he's like, oh, yeah, I found 16 cents at the park today. And, uh, you know, so I'm going to see if I can find more in one mystery box than he finds in months of collecting. And rub it in a little. Not really, but, you know, just a, just a poquito. But, yeah, um, metal detectors are their own little, little breed of folk. <laughs> That's... Uh, it's good exercise. You get to walk around the park and people look at you funny while you wear headphones and sweep the ground and look for lost buried treasures. There's also a BBC show called Detectorists. Um, it's sort of funny, but I think every metal detector thinks it is uh, hugely funny. And oh, nice. Okay. Um, hang on. Let's see what this is. This? Yep. Okay. I did. I, was, I mean, spoilers. I should do this last, right? Because now you gotta stop watching. But. That, I believe, is the grand prize. One of the grand prizes. This is the John Wick coin, which is an ounce of silver. So I definitely found more than my father has metal detecting in about a year in, in one box. So thank you, Jim. Awesome. That's woohoo. Uh, and then it says start here. So uh, pull tabs. I love pull tabs. Pull tabs are great. And so let's see what else we got in here. So I've already, the box is already pretty close to paid for itself with that coin. And, uh,. Yeah, I don't know what the comics are going to be like, ah, but I'm going to save those and reuse them. <laughs> oh, sweet. Okay, this is cool. I have never heard of this, and I kind of dig, like, sometimes getting comics I've never heard of. Uh, it makes boxes fun and interesting, and, like, I don't think it's probably worth much, but it is Sable. Sable, Sable. Return of the Hunter. Return of the Hunter. I feel like there should be, like, a built-in echo on the thing. It is Marv Wolfman, so that's cool. Uh... Yeah, Eclipse, or first comics, 1988. This is when everybody was, like, making comics, and look at that pistol. So, nice. <laughs> that's a, it's a fun one, at the very least. Ooh, yeah, all right. Um, Wolverine. Hunt for Wolverine. Number two, The Adamantium Agenda. Oh, I love these titles. This is a Greg Land cover. I know some, Land is hit or miss, and this one, I like this cover. Some of his stuff I don't dig, but, yeah, this is a cool cover. Oh, ooh, hey, wow, all right. Um, second print, New Mutants 87. It's not, uh, I mean, it's a little bit beat up, and it can use a press, but, like, and it's got, it's got a little bit of a roll to it and stuff, but it's pretty decent shape. And, again, this book is picked on a P2 because the first one is getting out of people's price range. So, yeah, this is a very nice box so far. All right, um, what do we have here? The Avengers 184, uh, this is the Absorbing Man. I don't think this is a key, uh, but still. Avengers in the hundreds, nice to have. It's Crusher Creel, the Absorbing Man. Yeah, this is this box is packed with goodness. I mean, there's a lot, a lot of stuff in here. Oh, yeah, Inv Invaders. Uh, Invaders number nine, with Union Jack on the cover, and... This, this title's starting to pick up the heat a little bit, too. This has been undervalued forever. I mean, a lot of it is, I think, it could be, it'd be tricky to, to make a movie with it, and so people have kind of ignored it. It's got Submariner, it's got the original Human Torch, it's got Captain America during the World War II era. And, yeah, it's... Uh, I used to read this when I got my hair cut at a country barber who only knew how to give bowl cuts. It was a disturbing... My, it still haunts my childhood. Yeah. Uh, oh, sweet. Dark Horse presents Aliens. Uh, it says Squarebound. I, uh, what is this? Yeah, I think I, I'm, I'm guessing this is a collection of some kind. I'm not sure. 
I'm pretty sure this is a Simon Bisley cover. Bisley. I never remember how to pronounce it. I don't know how to pronounce his name, guys. So leave a comment down below. Let me know. But yeah, sweet cover. Nicely, in nice shape. Um, all right, this is the saying the second appearance of Gardens of the Galaxy on the back. So this is Marvel 2 and 1. Um, it's probably the second comic book appearance. The second, the first appearance is actually in a magazine format. And I'm guessing this means second comic book appearance. Because, yeah, this is a whole different team uh, than, is, than in that magazine. But, very sweet. I have, dude, this, is, this box is nuts, uh, honestly. And we get a, another uh, lovely issue, Darth Vader number 19. Great cover, kind of a play on the whole original Star Wars uh, poster. Uh, first appearance of second sister Trilla Sudari. So another minor key in the Darth in the Star Wars universe. Everything's a key in the in the uh, in the Star Wars universe. But this is a cool cover too, I'm, and I, I love Star Wars. I'm gonna hold on to that one for sure. Ooh, trippy! Uh, it's the John Romita Senior cover, right? Yeah, Senior. John Romita Junior does his character's more boxy. So ASM number two hundred one. Also picking up steam. Um, yeah. Also, yeah, definitely getting hotter. Um, all these ASMs are getting kind of harder to find, and the Punisher. He'll make a comeback at some point. Oh, and heck yeah. Um, one of my favorite characters. A book I do not have. It is beat up, but I am not complaining because it is a journey into mystery. Uh, the first appearance of the Twilight Sword. Second appearance of the Enchantress. I don't, it's, it says this back here. But I'm, I'm trying to get a whole Thor run, and I do not have this one. Um, and it says last sold 20 bucks. It's, it's a, it's a low-grade copy, but I'm definitely going to kick it. This is another one that's staying on my PC. So, uh, this is Journey to Mystery number 104. So, yeah, um, if you get a chance, I would definitely recommend picking up a, D a Digger Gym box. They sell out pretty quickly. I think they sold out in an hour, and I, I, I grabbed one of the last ones. And I'm very happy I did, because I've got a coin. This book, it said last sold 20. That's going up, too, because, uh, you know, uh, everything everything's going crazy. So, this is probably a $30 to $40 book, even in this condition right now. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 201, which is a cool cover. Darth Vader 19. I mean, this box is just ch chock full of value. I'm, I'm not gonna. I, I don't like the putting the prices up and stuff. But like, I, I, I almost guarantee this is easily double what I, we're double what I paid for it. I'm a, like at least, if not triple, uh, depending on how patient you are. If you want to flip it or if you put it on eBay or whatever, I could probably triple my money on this box. So that's fantastic. Uh, Dark Horse Aliens. Invaders number nine. Avengers 184. New Mutants 87, second print. Uh, Greg Land, uh, Hunt for Wolverine. Adamantium Agenda. Yeah. And last and probably least, but still, a fun book. Sable, Sable, Sable. Return of the Hunter. Yeah, all right, I'll stop doing that because the video is almost over. And yeah, I, I'm gonna go. But I've stretched this out about as long as I possibly can, content wise. I have not quite hit the 10 minute mark, but that's okay. This is like eight to 10 minutes is what people's YouTube algorithms and stuff and things. So, yeah, on that note, thank you so much, Digger Jim. I will definitely leave his info in the comments. Um, give him a follow, he, he does some fun stuff. And. You know, shows off his coin collection, shows off his comics, and puts together great, great, great boxes. It's probably one of the better boxes I've gotten in the past, you know, six months, honestly. Um, well done, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And um, as always, have a good day, and, uh, you know, don't be a dick. See ya.